library tricity channel today we'll be learning how to make a reversible two in one satin bonnet slash head wrap you can either rock it as a bonnet or you can use it like an head wrap like a gilly okay so to make this i'll be working with this entire fabric and this satin fabric okay so you can either place the entire part on your head or the satin part of the fabric so quickly to do this now i'm going to be folding my fabric into four like i want to cut a flare okay i'll first fold this into two like this after folding it into two i'm going to be folding it into four so the radius i'll be working with is 10 inches because that is what i want you can go as high as 12 inches the trick there is that the more the radius the big the bigger your satin bonnet will be so for a medium normal size 10 inches is okay and if you don't have but if you have if you're the person that wear no uh, big ears you will need more volume for it so you can go as high as 12 or 13 inches but just know that if you are using that much it means your bonnet will be really big and you will need to make a hair that will up, just pack something that will just make it stand so that it will look nice okay so after folding it into four like this i'll be marking my 10 inches okay i hope you can see 10 inches i'll be marking my 10 inches round and then i'll cut it out so i'm marking 10 inches round now So I've marked my 10 inches round and I'm going to cut it out now. So like I was saying, this is a bonnet that I made some time ago and this is around 12, 13 inches. You can see how really big this is. It's very big and long. So if you want it to look nice, you need to wear it maybe when you made a hair that is a bit voluminous so that it can occupy all of these spaces. If not, it will just be looking, excuse me, it will just be looking funny on your head and it's also reversible meaning that you can wear it both in and house that was why i used a different fabric so it's a bonnet that has like a scrunchie on top of it but this will not be having a scrunchie because we're going to be making it in a while the way you can rock it also as an hair wrap if you want me to make something like this you can let me know in the comment section so now i'm going to be cutting this off now and then we'll continue with our tutorial so i already cut my 10 inches and if you open it up now you see that we have a circle okay so now i'm going to place my ankara on the satin that i'll be working with and then trace out exactly what i have cut here okay so i'm just placing the ankara on the satin like this and then i'm going to cut around it in a way that so the, to make the work easier for me, I want to be placing it right side facing right side so that after cutting it, I'll just sew it straight forward like that. So I'm placing it like this and then I'll pin it to hold it in place. So after pinning it, I'm going to cut it and then sew. Okay, so I've pinned it now and I went ahead to cut it. You can see that I have exactly the same thing on both sides so after cutting it now i will take it to the sewing machine and then sew it by half half inch round i'm going to sew half half inch round and then leave like three to four inches space here so that i'll be able to turn it out okay so i've sewn it round now and i left this little so okay let me turn it so that i can sew well I've sewn it around and I left this little space to turn it out. So before I turn it out, because this is a curve and not straight, I'm going to notch it around and the seam allowance so that I can relax well. Okay, so after notching this now, I'm going to turn it out from this small space and then take it to the ironing table and give it a good press. Okay, so it's turned now. I'll just go and iron it so that I can lie flat for me. Okay, so 
I've ironed it now and we can see how flat it is laying. So I just set this aside and then work on the wrap part of the bonnet. Okay, so for this strap, I'm going to be using a fabric of 10 inches width. Okay, like this. If it's on fold, it will be 5 inches. So I'll be measuring 10 inches width and very long length. Depends on how how big you want to wrap how many times you want to wrap it around your head okay so the width now is 10 inches and i'll be measuring 10 inches around make it into a straight line and then i'm going to cut it out okay so i've cut it now this is 10 inches in length and the in 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 width and the length is very very long let me try to measure this this should be around 120 inches or so Okay. So this is around 120 inches in length. I don't want the video to be too long. So now I'm going to place it right side facing the right side. Remember, I said when it's on foot, it's going to be five inches. And then take it to the sewing machine and sew. But before I sew it, I don't want this edge here to be straight like this. So I'm going to be folding the two edges together like this and then I'll place it on each other. So when I place them on each other like this, I'll just measure like two inches from this part. I measure like two inches and take my ruler and then connect it diagonally like this just to form like a V and then I'm going to cut it out so it's no longer straight we have it like this so now to sew it I take it to the sewing machine sew it like this and then sew it all the way then I'm going to leave like three inches space to turn it around so I take it to the machine now and do that so i've sewn it now by half inch and then i left this little space to turn it out so i'm going to be turning it out now i'll notch it and then turn it out and then take it to the ironing table to give it a good press okay so this is the small space that i left to turn it so i'll be turning it out using this space just going to notch here so that I can come out sharp okay so I've turned it now and then I'll take it to the iron to iron it properly okay so I've ironed it now and you can see that it's laying really really flat and the edges are quite sharp enough so now we'll go over to our bonnet and complete it. I had to quickly do that because I need to iron it when the iron is still hot. That was why I quickly did that. I quickly did the uh, wrap part. So now for you to create a casing for your elastic, depend on the size of the elastic you're working with. There are different sizes of elastic. You can use i like even like to use the one inch elastic but this is what i have at the time so i'll use this for a tutorial but this is just a little over a quarter of an inch so that will guide me in creating my casing for this elastic okay so now because i'm using like quarter let me just assume that i'm using like an half inch elastic so i'll just leave a little space this is half inch right here i'll just create like three quarter for my casing so now let's say you're working with a one inch elastic then it means that you had like a quarter of an inch to it just for the elastic to have room to move around so if you are working with a quarter with a one inch elastic you just use one and quarter and use that trend for your casing but in my case i'll be using three quarter for my elastic i think that would be enough for both my elastic and my my allowance that i want to be 
for the elastic to be able to move around so i'll take my tape measure now and then measure that round just as a guide okay so i've measured round and i marked it with a chalk so that i can guide me i hope you can see this okay so that i can guide me when i'm sewing it so i'll take it to the sewing machine and then sew round following my chalk lines okay so i've sewn it round now as you can see i remember the same space that i left and used to turn it to the right side it is the space that i'm going to be using to pass around my elastic now to know the amount of elastic you need you just need to take measure around the head of the wearer so for this mannequin i'll be measuring it around and i have around 21 inches for my elastic so i'll go over and then cut out an elastic of 21 inches length like this so i'm going to cut out yeah i cut out elastic of 21 inches and i'm going to use a safety pin to pass it around okay so i fixed the safety pin on my elastic and then i'm going to pass it around using that small space that i left so keep passing it till it's out okay And when you're finally at the hand point, you bring it out. So when I bring it out, I just take it to the sewing machine. Be careful so that this other side doesn't go in. I take it to the sewing machine and then join the elastic together. When you join the elastic together and you're sure that it is tight, just go back and forth on the machine just to hold them in place. When you are sure it is held together, then you and then you stretch it out. So, for my in my case, I used the exact end measurement, which is 20, 21 inches, to cut my elastic. But if you want it more firm on the head, you can remove from two, three, or five, even as much as five. Remember, it's still going to stretch when you wear it. Okay, so now that I've stretched this out. What is left for me is to close up this space. You can either hem it with a needle and thread or you just take it to the sewing machine like this. The allowances are already tucked in because we ironed it. And then you take them together and then sew tightly close to the edges to cover it up. So I've closed it now and our bonnet is ready okay so this is the bonnet and this is our strap but remember we left a tiny space to turn out our strap also the same way i close this space for the bonnet i'll go ahead and close the space for the strap also so i'm just looking for where i turned it out okay so i turned it out here i can either hem it or just sew it the way i sew the first one okay very neatly so that it doesn't show and then we are ready okay so now we are done with making our cap and our belt okay now to finish it you can there are several ways you can finish this off remember this cap is actually lined with satin and you can wear it to sleep so now the first thing you can do is hide your press button these are called press buttons so you just had a press button to your cap just to you can have two of them just to hold them together so you open up your press button when you open it up you have something like this so two of these you had one to your cap and the other one to your belt so that i can use it to just gum each other together so you just place one of it on the cap and then locate the midpoint of your belt by putting them against each other like this when you have the midpoint you're going to place your you're going to place your press button on it like this and then you use them to gum each other and then it will stay for you like this so anytime you want to wear your cap separately you just remove it you wear your cap and when you're going out and you want to tie it as a ghillie you just gum them together back if you don't want to use press button you can also use a velcro tape this is a velcro tape so it gums together like this so you just cut a tiny bit of it of one side you place it here on your cap and then the midpoint of your of your belt you cut the other side that will gum to it 
and then place it on it so once you place it like this if you are going out you just gum them together like this and if you want to wear your cap alone you remove the belt part so another thing you can do is just to sew it completely if you sew it completely it means you cannot remove it or if you feel that you may misplace your belt if you see that you may misplace your belt this is the best best for you so you just take them to the sewing machine locate the center point and then the back of your cap like this just place the belt on it and then you sew them together so with that sewing sword you are sure that your scalp your your belt is not going to lose then the last one is just for you to leave it like this which is what i'll be doing you can leave your cap like this separately and your belt separately so anytime you want to tie your cap you're just going to tie it together with this and if you want to wear your cap alone you wear your cap alone and i'm going to demonstrate how you're going to be tying it on your mannequin okay so now to, to place this remember if this is where to be a man there will be hair or something underneath it so you just place your cap on it like this so once you place your cap on it when you place your cap on it you you get the midpoint of your belt so this is the midpoint here and then from the back you tie it from the back like this and then you bring it to the front when you bring it to the front you are trying to create a v-shape so one will go like this and the other will come on top of it like this remember your v-shape and then once you have that shape you take the rope back to the way you take it back to the back and then bring it forward and then tuck it in or you just tie it so if you tie it you can tie it in form of a butterfly or any style that you desire so once you tie it you have something like this and then if there were to be here on this okay, so this is what the scarf looks like after tying you can see this is the back and this is the front so you can tie it anyhow you want depending on the style that you wish this is the view i was talking about it depends on the creativity and remember if this were to be on human hair there will be here around here that will just make it pull out more and becomes more beautiful so that is how you make your head wrap or satin bonnet so thanks for watching kindly subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that again so then time we'll upload new videos see you in the next one bye